Hey guys, joining me today on Roblox, we're playing some more Lumion Legacy, as you can see on the screen right now. Today, we're going over the Bird Boy, Avatross. I don't know why I haven't gone over it yet for this specific meta game. It's still really, really good. I guess I just didn't really want to use it, but it is very good. I don't know why it took me so long to use it, but yeah. For this set, I'm going to go over one that also Poker gave me. So let's just jump straight into the set load. But before we do that, also, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. And also, if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe, okay? Uh, it also helps out uh, the channel a lot, and we try and go for that 100k, which we might be able to get it. Also in the first beginning of next year, so I guess we'll see. So yeah, with that being said though, let's get into the set. So for the personality, I'm running very brawny, clumsy, and foolish. You can change this one a little bit, which you could run brawny and robust instead, in case you don't want the foolish, but you're not really going to be taking too many range attacks anyway, because you're probably going to pair this up with Sedimaz, which can take all of the range hits that Avatrust doesn't want to take, except from Garadrone. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go for this one though. The very brawny one just lets you hit harder. Robust one just lets you be a little bit more bulkier, I guess, and gets rid of your foolish, but it's up to you. Uh, for the item, I have Mysterious Dust. You can run Air Essence if you want to do more damage. Mysterious Dust though, because also if you get paralyzed, big oof, um, or if like you get poison, because you can be swapping into a lot of poisons, for example. So I mean, this kind of helps. Uh, for the ability, Rev Up is the only one that you really need on Avatross, because um, it's just the best one. You get quicker. And you don't have to invest anything into speed because um, you can invest into other things, become bulkier and hit hard, and then after a turn, you basically outspeed everything in the game. So yeah, for the moves, we have Nose Dive, which also is our stab move, uh, and Thunder Crash, which is just like for coverage. You know, if Nose Dive, you can't hit metal types, Thunder Crash lets you hit metal types now. And the last two moves is Perch and Sharpen. Some people still like Body Slam, I'm pretty sure, just so you can like hit uh, stuff like Eliguana and... Um, Zulong, especially since Eliguana isn't running any melee defense now, but I still think Sharpen's better. Um, just also, you have Sedimars, we can deal with both of them anyway, so... Eh, at least you probably have Sedimars. Sedimars just like the best range tank, so yeah. That's the moveset low. And also then for the TPs, um, which again, is the ex you can have the exact same, it's just also the personality that you can choose between. Uh, so yeah, for the for the TPs low, 200 melee attack lets you hit as hard as possible, obviously. Um, we have 192 health. You could run 200, but the reason why we don't is because when you run 200 TPs at level 50, you have an even amount of health, which also is bad for ice code traps, even though no one really uses them, but it's still just worth TP training for them. So basically, I just in case people don't know, for ice code traps, since Avatrust is an air type, it loses 25% of his health. Also, if there's an even amount of number of um, health, if you swap it into it four times without taking damage from anything else, Avatrust will, will faint on the fourth time you bring it in. If you have an odd number of health, when you bring in the fourth turn, it'll live on one health exactly. So that's why we try and um, do things that are weak to uh, ice code traps to be on odd number of health just for that. But it's up to you. Uh, for the energy, for energy roll, we aren't going to st stick this in anywhere else because it can't fit in anywhere else. Uh, we have 16 speed, which um, is mostly for before we get a rev up, uh, which is for um, nimble, smart, eruptedon, and newly. Very smart Sorcha. Apparently, people are running very smart now on a Sorcha, which I haven't gone over yet. I'll probably go over that one soon as well. But um, it just lets you out speeds those two Lumians um, just before you get a rev up because also they're both scary. A lot of people use Eruptodon. I don't personally don't really know why because I feel like Ikazune, Chartiki, Revenant just better. But some people like it. So, I mean, hey, if it works, it works. And also the rest, we're just dumping into the melee defense just to help our overall bulk since. Our defense aren't exactly the best, but I mean, it kind of helps since we are going to be swapping into a lot of melee attacks, like from Tatab and stuff, so kind of just helps for that, I guess. So yeah, with being said, though, let's get into the battles. Okay, Lynn, first battle, we're up against Kieran, and oh, and I see a Tatab. This team is actually kind of weak to Tatab. I was, like, really hoping that I didn't fight too many of them, because Tatab is really, really popular again, but I have got Avatrust, so I mean, I don't exactly want to swap it into it, but it can. Uh, Avatrust actually looks really, really good against this team. Really, really good. So that's really good for me. I see a couple of range attackers, so we are going to bring the Sedimars. Um, I see Chadwe, which is scary. And I see Mutagun, which is also kind of scary. Um, going to bring Redburn. This would be better, I think, if I do Urusol for this team. I can trap these two in and just, like, kind of abuse lows, but that's fine. Um, Moochoon doesn't really look good at, in this at all, I don't think. Unfortunately, I brought Mewtwo to try and like a nuke like Sedimaz, just like throw people off. Just like, hey, range attack are nice. Luminami, eh. Uh, Protagon I'm going to bring, and I think last but not least, I'm going to bring, I guess, Mewtwo. And I'm just going to lead off with it because I ain't got time to swap it out. So yeah, not exactly the best team to go up against, but that's fine. I'm going to lead with the Mutagon. We have to swap out immediately, unfortunately. Is it tank? Nope. Secret builder. 
So yeah, we kind of have to like swap out immediately. We're going to go into our burn to uh, terrifying it. If it goes through the setup, that's not the worst thing in the world. Um, I mean, it doesn't have slap down, at least yet. It might get slapped down later on the down the line, but um, I'm not going to say anything about it now because um, I don't know how strong it'll actually be on the mute gun right now in the meta game. So yeah, gonna go into red burn. Just gonna click slap down. I'm not really gonna think about it too much. I just wanna get rid of. Yep, probably predicted the Avery trust. All secure knows what my team is gonna be, and if it, if he sees something that I haven't used before, he knows exactly that it's, I have to bring it. So yeah, that's uh, that's that's the only problem like doing these videos. Um, <laughs> because like people know exactly what my teams are. So yeah, gonna go for the slap down low. Very nice. Get rid of the item. Uh, don't really know why he did that. I guess he didn't think I was gonna click slap down, but I just want to remove uh, this item just so it didn't do as much damage. Here we can go into my Moochoon, I think. Um, it, it, they're probably gonna go for the Flash and Flea. I can't really see them doing anything else. And if they do, I just do the exact same thing that I just did. Go back into my Rubber and if they go back into their Mutagon. But yeah, they're gonna go for the Flash and Flea. Yep. I went to the Moochoon just to try and soak up the damage because it's not going to do too much. And Moochoon isn't really going to be like that important in this battle. At least I don't think so. I mean, it can tank a couple of the hits, I guess. But I'm probably not really going to use it that much. Going to go into the Mutagon. Yep. I'm also going to go back now into my um, Raburn, um, I think. And I could probably just go for the Flaming Kit. I mean, hmm... Yeah, I'm just going to go back into Red Burn. Um, I gotta be careful because Mutagon does a lot of damage to my team. I mean, my team is very prone to like me uh, melee brawler uh, brawler types. And there's two of them. Um, Telekinetic's going to do a decent amount. I got D, that's kind of unfortunate. Not going to go for the uh, chase down. I think I'm just going to go for the slap down. They're going to withdraw again. Probably back into Luminami. Yep. Um... We could also just go into... Yeah, I hit myself, of course. They do. That's really unfortunate. I don't think I've, like, ever day someone and had them hit themselves. I don't think I've ever done it, which is very unfortunate. Um, I can't keep doing this because um, they're going to click Flash and Flea again. Sedimaz can't come out because Mutagon beats it still. And don't want to take a Frost Punch to the face. I guess Protagon can come out here. Um, they're probably going to go for a Flash and Flea. If they're going to go into something, it would probably be... Ikazune, if they have it. I should actually write down what they have. t Chomp, that's actually very unfortunate. It's a melee attacking one. Okay, uh, that's fine. Didn't do too, too much. Uh, we could cl click Metal Blast here or T-Strike or Dodge, just like see what they're gonna do, because I feel like they're gonna go for the Withdraw. Actually, no. I should just click to Metal Blast, it's Ikazune. Actually, no, it's Sedimars. Okay, Sedimars. So, they don't have um, Ikazune, it looks like. Oh, wait, wait, wait. They have Mutagon. Luminami and Sedimaras. Yeah, I should just gonna flee it for the damage there, to be honest. I think I thought I would click Flash and Flee, but also uh, not running like any range defense, so that's gonna be also the swap. I'm gonna go into Avitross, I guess. I mean, makes sense. They can't really click Earthquake, they have to go for a Sharpen. If it's Blaze Chomp, it's still gonna hit me really hard. Oh, it has Wonder Chomp. That's really unfortunate, Len. Uh, I could go for the perch, but they can just hit me with an earthquake. All they could potentially miss, which also works. But uh, yeah, that is very unfortunate that they they have that. Really, man, you have thunder chomp on two things. That's really unlucky for me. Okay, back into Moochoon Lan. Gonna withdraw. Could have gone for the a for the nose dive. Munchwheel low. Okay, Munchwheel. Looks like they don't have um. Yeah, I don't really have anything to do here, except from just, like, Raging Cow and just chip plum as much as I can. I wonder if this is rev up. Oh, this is a lot of damage. That's really, really good. I think they click a double whack here, or they go for... Yep, just double whack. It's probably the Chad Wheel. I do, so I do live it low. I can just withdraw and come back in later. They're going to go for the Quick Pounce, or Quick Punch here. I'm going to, um, my Raburn. They're going to go into the Luminami, I would imagine. This thing actually, that did a lot of damage. I didn't think it would do that much, but I think Chadwell's mostly run foolish, right? So that's probably why. We're gonna go for rapid fire here, even though it's kind of weird. Um, oh, is it, is it Ikazune? It's, yes, yeah, Luminama. Because I thought Luminama would come back in, and rapid fire has a good chance to burn Battle and Flaming Kick, and that's what I'm trying to do right now for Luminama is just to burn it. It's gonna do like zero damage, clearly. No burn, unfortunately. Okay, uh, we're gonna go into our Moochoon here. Just sack off the Moochoon, I think is probably the best play. 
What else do they have? They got Ferroglyph, Ikazune, or Tatab. I want to say it's probably Ferroglyph for this specific team. That melee Luminami is really screwing my team over right now, I'm not gonna lie. Avitrust could come out here, but I don't really want to like, take a hit, but I, this is melee, I can tank the hits, so I could do that, to be honest. That's kind of my only play that I have, is just to click um, either T-Strike or Nosedive. I'm actually going to go for the Perch Low, um, just because I want, I want... I could actually go for the Sharpen, but they're probably going to click Flash and Flee here, I would imagine. Actually, no, go for the Thunder Chomp. Well, I'm not Air-type anymore, although they do critical hit me. Nice. Clearly, very nice. Uh, I'm going to just click Thunder Crush then. I keep thinking... I, I think I keep saying T-Strike. I mean, T-Crash. That doesn't do anything. Yikes. Uh, Thunder Chomp's going to do double damage now, because also I, it's super effective. Not enough to KO low. We can go for the Perch here again. Also, just get our energy back. Um, I don't think... I, I can't go for two Perches, but that's fine. Lay this guy down to rest. That's fine. Also, you know, I'm going to have to go for the Perch here. Um, and yeah, I am kind of out of energy, to be honest, so I kind of want to go for my own. Wait, so yeah, kind of glad that Blue Mami doesn't have anything to set up melee attack-wise, because I would be kind of screwed here. T-Tromp, I can tank that pretty well, obviously. Um, here they should just go for Hydro Slash, obviously, because I'm gonna, uh, go for this. And I keep saying obviously, I know, I, I just caught myself doing it again, I always do it. Okay. T-Charm, nice. I'm not an air type anymore, though, so it's not gonna do damage. Uh, go for another weight. I'm basically just get, I'm, I'm, I'm the quickest thing in the game now. I mean, I've got, like, what, three or four rev-ups? So close to getting to Flash and Flea, that's fine. Just gonna do a decent amount, like um, I am foolish. Um, and yes, yeah, Sedimaz completely screws over Avitross, unfortunately. Um, I don't know why they have two Thunder Chompers. Interesting, but it's fine. There's Munchwheel. I can tank Quick Punch pretty well. I think it's trying to bait me low to go into Sedimaz, but I'm just going to take it. There's no point in me like trying to predict right now, to be honest. Actually, no, they do go for the Quick Punch. I'm going to do too, too much. I do resist it, and we have quite a bit of melee defense investment. Take out the Munch Wheel, which is also really, really good for me. Very nice. So yeah, this um, it's like a decent matchup for Avatross, but everything on their team has something to hit me, which sucks. Sedimaz, yup. That is a instant swap out into Raburn. Um, can't really do too much. Go try and like just slap it down, I guess, or just try and go for a burn. Um, so yeah, ki kinda, kinda scared to be honest. Gonna go for probably a sharpen. Actually, don't just go for the thunder charm. Not gonna do too much. Gonna go for the rapid fire again. Also trying to uh, burn something. If I burn the sediment, that's actually so big. That is so good. It's not doing any damage clearly, but that's fine. And I get the burn. Nice. Okay. Um, if they have Tatab, they're probably going to try and go into it sometime soon. That's not going to KO now anymore. Nice. Uh, we go for the slap down, I think. Or do I go for a flaming kick? Try and burn the next swap in. Going to go for a flaming kick. If they have Tatab, they probably have something to get rid of it. Um, I missed. Of course I missed. Nice. T-Charm, not going to be enough. Oh, I actually misses. Nice, because he didn't go for Sharpen. Nice. Okay, we're just going to go for the flaming kick again then. Redbone's gonna go down probably this turn, so I'm just trying to like, get damage on uh, for anything that swaps in. And if they have got the tab, tab, just try and prevent them from swapping in. I miss again? Bruh! How do I miss? I don't have the hasty ability, man. I have good awakening. That would have been some pretty good damage there, man. I could have taken the Sedimars down to like half health there, if I didn't miss. It's got no um, energy low, so I can go f now for a rest. And I think Avatrust might be really good here. I could actually go for the Purge, but I think I'd rather go for the rest. Or not. Uh, let's, I think we'll go for the rest here, just so they don't hit me super hard. They're going to go for Withdraw into Luminami. My Avis is going to win this matchup, I'm pretty sure. Also, I've got my rest off now, so also I have more energy than low they do. We have to go for the Purge here, though. They should just click Hydro Slash. Um, Munchwheel is down, Sedimaz is burnt, Luminami, I mean, it can tank us, but once I get a couple of Sharpens off, Avatrust can sweep this entire team. I just have to try and get the, um, I just have to get a few Sharpens off. So here, I can go for a Sharpen, and I have just enough for two, but not if I click Sharpen, which is fine. Um, I think it's worth it, though, because they're, they're running out of energy, and also, I'm not going to use too much energy when I Sharpen, which is good. They go for another Thunder Chomp, which is fine. 
So it's going to do a lot of damage. If we paralyze, that's actually going to suck, but I'm, I'm rev up, so I should outspeed basically everything still. The only issue is though that, um, Avatross, um, actually I have Mystery Easter, so I can actually, I can actually get rid of it, which is kind of good. Go for the Perch on the free turn, now it's pretty good. I could actually go for the rest here, I think. Uh, but if I unparalyze, my essence got so many rev up boosts, I think I'm still good. I'm gonna go for a wait, I don't want to give him, um, a, like a minus one defense, Thunder Chomp, because it's, it's gonna suck. Oh, they miss, nice. Okay, here we can actually go for a Nilo Sharpen now, because, uh, yeah. I think it needs to be like plus 3 or plus 4 before I start attacking honestly because I'm going to take a lot of recoil since unfortunately Avatross the best moves that you want to use on it are both recoil moves which are very unfortunate. Go for the perch again we have to like wrestle the next turn which is unlucky. There we are back at full health basically. Hydro Slash, a Gardam, it's also going to do a decent amount. If I actually get a crit with that that's actually going to be scary. So yeah go for a Nuller Weight. I, I don't, like I said, I don't really want to rest. There's no point in really resting. There's a Thunder Trump again. It's also going to do a lot of damage. Um, they're almost out of energy low now, which is good for me. Another perch, you know it. A I'm, tr I'm trying so hard with Avatrust. Like, it's a really good team to use Avatrust against, but the rest of my team sucks for this specific team, which is really bad. We're going to go for the rest, I think, this turn. I think they're also going to go for the rest. At least I would think like they should. Otherwise, they're just giving me free. Yep. That's perfect for me to get wrestling. Now I can actually go for two perches and a sharpen. Please don't critical hit me. That would really, really suck. Um, I think actually I'm just going to go for the perch. I think perching here is probably the best play because I'm. I didn't really lose too much health for the trump, so I mean I'm just wasting energy at that point, and I was going to do it the next turn anyway. So I think that I think that makes the most sense. Go for a sharpen. I can still go for another sharpen, and then I can go for a perch. I think for the trump. Thunder Chomp does like, what, 70? I can actually tank a Nilla, but if it crits, or something that sucks, clearly. Um, kinda wanna go for a Nilla one, though, but if I go for a Nilla one, I can only perch once, then I have to rest, so it's not, I think I would lose that matchup, so yeah. Gonna go for the withdraw, finally, okay, into the Tetab. Oh, they have got Tetab. Um, I can actually tank it, though, pretty well. Oh, they're gonna go for the, um, oh, so it is actually Tetab, nice. I thought it might have been, um, Ferroglyph, the way that they have been playing it, and I'm one energy short, which is unfortunate. Uh, I'm gonna go for the rest, because I don't think they're gonna hit me. I think they're gonna go for the, um, Wonder Herb, or Poison. Bushwhack, okay, that's not, not gonna do too much. I did rest, so it's gonna do a decent amount. That's actually a lot, never mind. That's a lot. We're gonna go for Nosedive, just to get rid of it. Um, I'm gonna lose a lot of health, and I might actually KO myself with this. Don't KO yourself. Nice, okay. I'm still fine. I can go for the perch. Um, if they bring a Mutagon, I'm just gonna hit it. Oh, that's Tatab down. That's actually really, really good. Tatab is scary for my team. Okay, Luminam is going back out. I would have thought um, bringing out the Mutagon would have been better. I mean, yeah, they lose like all of their damaging Lumians, but I mean, with Sedimaz and Luminam, I think they beat me. Although I did burn it. I don't know why they didn't go for the for the Wonder Herb. I'm not gonna lie. I can go for two more perches. Yes, Avatrust is coming in clutch. Avatrust is coming in clutch. Hydro Slash is fine. I'm going to go for another perch here because I just have enough energy. There's no reason why not to. I um, have to go for like a rest load this turn, I think, right? Hydro again. Yeah, I think they realized I was going to do that. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go for the rest. I just got to hope that they don't critical hit me. And I can go for another two perches. Nice. Thunder Chomp, they're basically out of energy. Does a lot of damage. Don't paralyze. Thank you. I'm on plus six speeds, and I think I'm on like plus three, maybe plus four. Um, melee attacks. I mean, Avatros right here is sweeping right now. So yeah, so very nice. Got actually lucky because this was a really bad team, but only Avatros was really good against it. So got kind of lucky with that one. I'm not gonna lie. Um, they do like seventy, so I gotta be like plays carefully. If they do like seventy, uh, if I click Thunder Crash and I don't. It's gonna be really, 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 really close. Really close. Hmm. Or do I? Well, cause if I click Thunder Crash, I and I don't one shot, I have to click it again, which means I can't go for the perch. So here, I'm actually gonna go for the weight. I think could actually go for the rest as well. I think that would have been better, but fine. There's a Nuller Hydro Slash. Interesting. 
Um, also here we're gonna go for the perch again. <laughs> this is so annoying to play against, but I mean, I kinda have to, okay, my entire team is weak to our team. Really, really badly. Surprisingly, they didn't bring out Tatab earlier, though, but that's fine for me, I guess. Okay, then, here we... Okay, let's see. I, I'm a little bit... I'm too short on energy. I'm gonna click the rest here just to get all of my energy back, I think. Okay, and then they're gonna go for the T-Chomp. It's not gonna one-shot unless they crit, which they do! Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> Please, that was a really unlucky uh, timing for a crit. That could have actually killed me if I was a... If I, I, that might have been a damage roll, I think. That might have been a damage roll. Hydro, I, I can click Perch another two times low, so I'm completely fine. They have one more move, so like, Aver just right now is kind of like doing work. I mean, if this Luminami was actually um, range attacking with like peace of mind, I'm pretty sure I would have lost a long time ago. Let's, let's just say that. Let's just say that. I'm pretty sure I would have lost a long time ago. I'm gonna click Rest here, they're out of energy. Might as well, but else, they'll both get energy. Okay. Um, I gotta be kind of careful about this slow now. Gotta be kind, just just kind of careful. I'm gonna go for the perch to get full health. I think they probably know I'm gonna go for the perch here because I just don't want to be under half. They go for the thunder chomp anyway. Never mind. Another critical here, which is unlucky. Okay, now I can actually start sharpening again. I wanna I wanna make sure that I one shot the Luminami. I did remove this item like at the very beginning of the game, so it's not as bulky. But just in case, I gotta be careful still. I still gotta be careful. I'm gonna go for the perch. I could have hit it that turn, I think, um, and just two-shotted it, which might have been better, honestly, because I'm just kind of, like, dragging this out a little bit, but I'm just like, I want to make sure that I one-shot it one million percent of the time. Okay, here we're gonna click rest again. I'm gonna try and go for a perch, and then I'm just gonna start whacking, I think. Okay, a lot of energy. There's a thunder charm. They're almost out of energy now. Okay, I'm very, 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 very low. Another perch. Bro, Kieran probably hates me. Kieran probably hates me because uh, this team is really, really, really good against mine. So I got really lucky for the teaming. But I mean, pretty lucky for that. Okay, we actually can't start whacking it because he can hit me pretty hard here. Um, I think I go for another perch, I think. I think I go for another perch. Right, because they're going to go for the Thunder Chop. Actually, the Hydro Slash. Okay, they got it. Don't crit. Thank you. Um... Can I use this twice? I think I can. I'm just going to take up Luminami, I think. I think I'm just going to start hitting. Oh, we do one shot, but I'm like one energy, two shot for uh, Nosedive, which is really unfortunate again. I think that's happened like twice now, which is really unlucky. I can click uh, Thunder Crash Low. I'm going to go into the Mutagon. That's fine. I can click a Nosedive, which is very unfortunate, but I, I can click Thunder Crash again, which is completely fine. This is still going to do a lot of damage, even though it's not, like, super effective. I mean, that's, that's enough. Uh, Protagon basically can sweep now. So, yeah. Aver just did his job. It basically sweeps early, early game. <laughs> kind of kind of weird, but okay. But yeah, my team wasn't really that great for their team, unfortunately. I thought Moochum would be able to help. I think Luminami would have been better, just so I could, like, try and swap out a little bit easier. Um, I don't know what, def what increased. I'm assuming it was... Um, I'm assuming it was range attack that increased. Don't really know low. Into their setting miles, which is fine. There's a metal boss. They have no energy. Oh, wait. Lay a Thunder Chomp. Pretty sure they have a, enough to click a Thunder Chomp. I'm like, very, very confident they have enough to click a Thunder Chomp. Very confident. Yep, they do. Nice. And now we can actually hit them because they can't do anything here. So yeah, Pro got a neighbor shots. Dang, coming in a clutch. I mean, hey, I can't say that Rabban didn't really do much. Muchun didn't really do too much. I mean, it helped for the Chad wheel, but I think I could have dealt with it anyway. Uh, Rabban, coming in clutch, removing the item. Uh, gladly, we'll take it. Just gonna click Metal Blast here. And I think we win now. Let Gaidan to rest. I don't think he gets one hit KO'd from me here. Does it? Oh, actually it does. Nice. Um, and then now it's just um, Mutagon, which I'm pretty sure we one-shot. If we don't... Oh, no. <laughs> if we If we don't... Oh, really? No. Okay, we do one try. Nice! That's actually a really good battle for Ava Shaw. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Also, let me know in the comments down below what Lumion you'd like to see next. Um, and I'll try and do it. There's only like a few Lumions that I have left to do now, so um, also, just try and get through them. So, yeah. I think instead of Moochoon, I should have probably just doubled up on like a melee, uh, on uh, like Hunter counters, like either Your Soul or Vesperat, which I was going to bring, but I thought I kind of want another Range Attacker because I only have two of them. 
And soon this will probably be like a melee attack, because I kind of wanted another range attacker, which is why I brought Moochum, which didn't really do too much, but I mean, hey, it kind of helps a little bit. So yeah, let me say hello, see you guys next time.